our correspondent Lewis Vaughan Jones. Our correspondent Lewis Vaughan Jones reports now from Washington. Finally, some rare good news uh, from here in Washington, but I'm afraid I don't think it will last. The Republicans especially were pretty unhappy with this bill, but after that, the government may be in a position where it simply can't pay its bills. The US government has gently reminded Google that economic sanctions are in place against North Korea. Very tough and testing times ahead. OK, Lewis, thank you very much indeed. The Coast Guard has handed over its evidence about the ship's route. The master of the ship took his, uh, his decision to go close, so that's up to him. It was, obviously, his, it was his decision. Unfortunately, yes. I think if we can have a look up about 30 metres or so, that's the actual bridge uh, that the coach came through. Elio Valente was the very first person to get there last night. He helped save the lives of five children on board. The first thing that comes to my mind is the crying of the children that we immediately carried out of the wreckage. This car has been set on fire and has just rolled into the building here behind another car on fire and the police have just arrived to try and lock down the area. Friends stood side by side with the family of Corporal Jake Hartley. Minutes and moments they will always remember for a friend they will never forget. Lewis Vaughan Jones, ITV News, Oxfordshire. It needed grit and determination, but there was no grit. This is the middle of the A55, normally extremely busy, but now nothing moving. The reason? These three lorries just simply can't get up this hill. The only way to do it at the moment is by walking. This reservoir is needed to serve about half a dozen towns near here. And just a couple of months ago, right underneath me was dry land. This is a mixed woodland in the South Downs where there are a large number of ash trees. It's a good example of the scale of all this. Of course, there's a lot of hype. Las Vegas was used to that. together to mark the national event in their own way. Lewis Vaughan Jones met some of the ordinary people who celebrated one extraordinary day. Yay! They brought the band, the balloons, and nearly a kilometre of bunting here. And we can go back to Lewis Vaughan Jones at the Olympic Stadium. A truly remarkable day, remarkable night. It has been an incredible uh, night here, Alistair. I think Oscar Pistorius summed it up uh, best. They say you should never meet your idols. You're probably not meant to beat them either. In the last hour, another medal uh, in the swimming behind us, Heather Fredrickson. Lewis, scenes of celebration where you are this evening, a really significant sporting achievement. That's right, you only have to look at the first 98 of these races to realise how tough they are. No British cyclist ever got close. So the music stopped, the crowds have gone, the medals have all been won. What's left? Well, a very real sense of a job well done. Lewis Vaughan-Jones, ITV News at the Olympic Park.